Welcome to our world, the Santa Rita Hills AVA. I am Dan Kessler, the chair of the board of the Santa Rita Hills Wine Growers Alliance. The Alliance has 21 vineyards and 26 wineries as members. The board of the Alliance voted unanimously to oppose the petition to extend the Santa Rita Hills AVA into the Buell Flats. This video will dramatically show what we all know to be so obvious, that the Buell Flats should not be included in the Santa Rita Hills AVA. I have asked our pioneer, Richard Sanford, to be your tour guide. When other folks looked at the Santa Rita Hills and saw pasture, land and row crops, Richard saw one of the few places in California cool enough to grow Pinot Noir grapes. Richard's undergraduate degree was in geography. During Vietnam, he served on a destroyer as a navigator. In 1971, with his partner, Michael Benedict, they planted the Sanford and Benedict Vineyard. Richard headed up a committee of Brian Babcock, Rick Longoria, Greg Brewer, Wes Hagen, and Peter Kargasaki, who selected the boundaries for the Santa Rita Hills AVA petition. Collectively, they have over 100 years of farming grapes in the Santa Rita Hills. Now, here is Richard. In the early 1970s, I was looking for a cool area to plant grapes, especially Pinot Noir. I found that for every mile or two I drove east along Highway 246 from Lompoc, the temperature increased about a degree Fahrenheit. If it was 70 in Lompoc, five or so miles to the east, the temperature would be 75. Buellton would be 80, Solvang 83, and San Inez 85 or so. As you can see, the hills to the left and right are parallel to each other, producing a transverse valley where the cool marine layer rolls in off the Pacific Ocean in the late afternoon and evening, extending east to the inland end of the Santa Rita Hills American Viticultural Area. The Santa Rita Hills is the only place between Alaska and Chile where the hills that are contiguous to the Pacific Ocean run west to east instead of north to south, which are perpendicular to the coastline. The North American and Pacific crustal plates have been grinding together for millions of years, creating the geology and topography we see today. About 15 million years ago, a clockwise tectonic rotation occurred off the western transverse block, of which the San Inez Range and smaller Santa Rita Hills are a part. This created Point Conception, that elbow that sticks out into the Pacific, and changes the Santa Rita Hills from north-south to east-west in orientation. We are now on the western boundary of the Santa Rita Hills, behind us the Pacific Ocean. We are now heading east along Highway 246. We are now passing Babcock Vineyard. Brian Babcock founded the second winery in the Santa Rita Hills. He and others helped to set the Santa Rita Hills AVA boundaries by literally driving the hills and making sure the lines were drawn in the right places. We are now passing Campbell Road, which is the home ranch for Campbell Farms. At this point, we are three miles from the eastern boundary of the Santa Rita Hills AVA. Those hoop house tunnels are used for growing berries. We are now in the Drum Canyon drainage. Drum Canyon to our left or north, and Mail Road to our right or south. Dwayne Tomdahl, a former member of the Santa Barbara Board of Supervisors representing this area, a former Lompoc School Board member, and current Lompoc City Council person in public comment number 31 stated, My father and I farmed and harvested hay and grain on lease property on Highway 246, Mail Road and Drum Canyon area in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Buell Flats has always been known to begin at the eastern flank of the ridge to the east of Mail Road and Drum Canyon on the way to Buellton. In the late 1800s, there was a settlement in this area called Santa Rita. It had a one-room schoolhouse that is now on the campus of Dunn School in Los Olivos. We are about to start up the hill to the ridge line that is the eastern boundary of the Santa Rita Hills AVA. At its highest point, the ridge line is over a thousand feet in elevation, close to 800 feet above the Buell Flat Valley floor. You will notice that this ridge runs north-south, not west-east. 
and that is one of the reasons we drew the boundary line here. It is important to note that the watershed east of the ridge line drains into the Buell Flats. The main reason we drew the boundary line here is because the ridge line is an obvious natural barrier to the influence of the cool maritime marine layer. We are now viewing the ridge line, which is the eastern boundary of the Santa Rita Hills ABA. You can see Pence Ranch to your left, its vineyard and Buell Flats stretching away to the east. It is this natural boundary that is being referred to in 15 public comments by local knowledgeable folks who have been driving up and down this hill for decades. In the late 1800s, Mr. Buell owned the land from the base of the ridge eastward to Solvang. This entire area was referred to as Buell Flats. That name preceded the incorporation of the town of Buellton in 1992. Pence Ranch is located on the eastern boundary of what was originally the Rancho Santa Rosa established in 1839. The two ranch houses on Pence Ranch were built around 1907 by Charles Lewis. This fence marks the boundary between Rancho Santa Rosa, present-day Pence Ranch, and the western end of the Rancho San Carlos de Honata, present-day Skit Ranch, owned by Bob Campbell. In his public comment, Bob Campbell, whose family has farmed along 246 since about 1930, stated, Our home ranch is located along Campbell Road and Highway 246, about three miles west of the eastern end of the Santa Rita Hills ABA. We also own and farm on the Skit Ranch, which is about two miles east of the eastern boundary of the Santa Rita Hills ABA and abuts the eastern edge of Pence Ranch on Highway 246. There is a significant difference in the crops we plant and the growing practices used between these two properties. Due to the warmer temperature on the Skit Ranch, we do not grow any berries or asparagus at this location, as they are year-round crops and they will not withstand the extreme heat that is normal in that general area during the summer months. Crops such as lima beans and cabbage that we grow at Skip Ranch during the summer months almost always require additional irrigation. This is the Cañada de los Palos Blancos on Skip Ranch where the petitioners want to move the eastern boundary of the Santa Rita Hills AVA. As you can see, it is in the Buell Flats. This view shows Pence Ranch in full sunshine while Rio Vista Vineyard is still covered by the marine layer. For this reason, we included part of Rio Vista Vineyard while excluding the present-day Pence Ranch. It is interesting to note that the Rio Vista Vineyard was one of the original petitioners to expand the Santa Rita Hills ABA, but has since withdrawn their support to expand the ABA. This vineyard to the right, south of Highway 246, is owned by the Mosby Winery and was planted in the 1980s. Pence Ranch is one mile behind us. One mile east of the Mosby Vineyard and two miles east of Pence Ranch is the Marcelino Springs Ranch. To the north is the canyon and to the right or east is the western city limit of the town of Buellton. The petition excludes the Mosby Vineyard and this vineyard from the Santa Rita Hills ABA. We are now traveling east through Buellton. The Buell Flats continue to the east. This is the Shoestring Vineyard still in the Buell Flats. This spot is the eastern terminus of the Buell Flats. Highway 246 climbs up the hill into Solvang. We are now heading west toward the ridge line, which is the eastern boundary of the Santa Rita Hills ABA. This presentation illustrates the dramatic topographical diversity between the Santa Rita Hills and Buell Flats. You can now see our reasons for establishing the original boundaries of the Santa Rita Hills AVA and why we are so passionate about protecting its integrity. Thank you for your attention.